Question 10 is about geometric sequences and series. Now, these questions can get a little bit intimidating, but the key to remember here is that you've got all of the formulas in the formula booklet. So make sure you consult the formula booklet um, to make the best use of it. Now, in part A, we're asked to find the value of the common ratio, which we denote R. So we're asked for the common ratio of the sequence. Now, this is the amount by which the... Um, the terms in the sequence increase, so they might increase by 10% or 20% or decrease by 10% or whatever. In order to find the common ratio, we need to take any two consecutive terms and divide them. So you could take the second term and divide it by the first, you could take the, I don't know, the 34th term and divide it by the 33rd. If you, if you take any two consecutive terms and divide them, you will get the common ratio. So in the sequence, we know that the first term is 64 centimetres and the second term is 48 centimetres. So we can see that this sequence is actually decreasing. So um, as I, we've got the example here, the one way you can find the common ratio is to take the second term, which here is going to be 48, and divide it by the first term, which is going to be 64. And if we do that, we end up with uh, an answer of 0.75. In part B, we are told or asked to find the distance that the post is driven into the ground by the eighth strike of the hammer. Now, in effect here, we've got a um, geometric sequence. So we want to find the eighth term in the sequence. And um, if you uh, remember or consult the formula booklet, the formula we're going to use here is the eighth term is going to be the first term multiplied by r the common ratio to the power n minus 1. So in this instance, the first term we've already identified is 64. So we're going to multiply that by the common ratio, which we've said is 0 0.75. And here, n, we want the eighth term. So to the power n minus 1 is going to be 8 minus 1. So that's going to be to the power 7. And if you do that, you end up with a value of 8.54 centimetres. The final part, part C, is probably the, uh, the hardest here. But again, if you use a formula booklet, it shouldn't be too difficult. We're asked to find the total depth that the post has been driven into the ground after 10 strikes of the hammer. So, um, in order to do that, we effectively need to find the sum of the first 10 terms. Again here, the general formula, if we wanted to work this out for the sum, would be the first term multiplied by the common ratio to the power n minus 1 all over the common ratio minus 1. So we're just going to substitute in these numbers. We know the first term in the sequence is 64. We know the common ratio is 0 0.75, so that's going to be 0 0.75 to the power n, which here is 10. Now just make sure when you're doing this, in this formula, it's here, this formula here, this bracket, it's r to the power n minus 1. A very common mistake is to do r to the power n minus 1, because that's what we've got when we're working out um, a particular term. So if we're working out the eighth term, we're going to use r to the power n minus 1. If we want the sum of terms, it's r to the power n minus 1, which is different from r to the power n minus 1. So if we substitute this in, we've said r 0 0.75, so that's going to give you 0 0.75 minus 1. If you work that out, you get an answer of 241.58 something or other, which are three significant figures, is going to give you an answer of 242 centimetres.